Hello everybody and welcome to the final of CCL Season 36. Um, we've got a stacked booth. Um, we've got Quetzalcoatl versus Kfog. And uh, yeah, there we go. Gorilla Metso, take it away. Oh my goodness, Glorious. we could see the no, first Wait a second, here. someone's fucked it. Until I'm victorious. <laughs> and I will defend. I will defend. Well, Skuro, how is the purple chess match going? <laughs> Thanks, fun Fox. <laughs> We're staying fantastic for 13 months, and uh, yeah, and, all right, let's try again. <laughs> all right, can I go now? <laughs> Yep. Oh my god, it could be a two-time, oh, hey, a Wanya. Fumble Major winner and a CCL winner for the first time, and that is a fact that I came up with on my very own. No one else in the commentary booth even thought of that one. It could be k Fogged as a champion, but standing in his way is Quetzalcoatl, the Central American bird of legend, and he's currently coaching some chaos. <laughs> I didn't even look at the teams yet. And uh, looking to maybe murder some elves, but as we've seen in rounds past, if he doesn't murder one very specific elf on the pitch, Glorious. this one's gonna be over no, in regular time. How are we doing commentary booth? Victorious. We are stacked and, and loaded. Defend. Everyone's trying to shake defend. off some uh, commentary rust. Because ETH is Blood Bowl. Blood Bowl. Rumble in just a few days time. But CCL 36 or whatever is uh, a pretty good uh, way to, to wet your palate and wait. Glorious. Good evening, everyone. I'm Purple Chest. I'm uh, delighted to be here. And I think uh, sat on my knee is the young man, Calcium. <laughs> ah, yeah. <laughs> is, ah that, yeah. is that the one crying or is that the one saying, oh, yeah, it's hard to tell. Right. Anyway, thank you, Mr. Yemendem, for staying fantastic for three years. <laughs> thank you very, very much. And, uh, yeah, so what happened with this? The really 1D. Uh, what happened with this is uh, Quetzalcoatl actually had two Strength 5 Warriors with Block and Guard, and he sacked them both. Um, and he also sacked a reroll so that uh, KFOG wouldn't get a wizard. And, like, KFOG sacked some players as well and stuff, so... So basically, they've both cut to the bone, but obviously, K Fog has got an incredible one turner. Natural yeah, K Fog um, dumped his tree. Of course, very much, very much not useful against Chaos. Yep. <laughs> and yeah, as you said, the yeah, two strength you... five warriors have gone, but he has retained his strength for Beastman. Yeah. So he's retained yeah, all of the kill power. Tree's a much better player to field against a team like Necro, so it can soak up those uh, those werewolf blitzes. <laughs> yeah, well, interesting. What we did see there, right in the very first turn, is uh, is Quetzalcoatl uh, learning a little bit from his past games and trying to protect his claw. Uh, he did make a one dice block though, PC. So yeah, <laughs> let's not heap praise on him yet. <laughs> uh, but at least he did no put a piece in front of him, which which Core took out. I, I do wonder if that elf had dodged out, whether he would have put a cheeky foul in, but having not put the assists in, I think maybe not. Uh, mm. Core definitely not above fouling a key uh, removal piece if he can get a foul onto it with uh, with a loan. Yeah, that's going to make, make Quetzalcoatl feel pretty good, isn't it? That early kill. Yeah. Um, yeah, a kill from the uh, the highly dangerous grass there. It's <laughs> yeah. nice to see. <laughs> so far, it has the highest kill count on the pitch. Yeah, and it's interesting because, uh, funny enough, you know, Artemis Black, you may have heard of. Um, when I was played my game against KFOG in the semi-final, he said he would have received, and I, I wrote off receiving as an option. I didn't even consider it. But uh, thinking about it, it's actually not... It's it's actually... it's. I don't think it's terrible receiving against this team because then, obviously, you should get some more hits in on your offense. And, you know... Hang on, L. If you kind of, like... Imagine that they're just definitely going to score, you know. Like then, um, like if 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 you you know if if you just imagine that he's going to score the one turner, this gives you a whole half to to cause attrition. So that on his drive, if he's only got six guys left or whatever, maybe you can stop him. So it wasn't it wasn't yeah, so terrible. Yeah, it's also playing the long game in an OT format, Jim, isn't it? It's um, yeah. You're pretty much saying I, I'm going to probably take this to overtime at two two. Yeah. You know, yeah, if you accept that you can it. probably score on your drive, but you try and get the attrition, as you say, and then even with five or six elves, the one turner, if it's a natty, it still looks like it's it's going to bang in somehow, doesn't it? Yeah. And then second half, with only five or six, the DAC is very, very risky, the withdrawn offense, um, because it's just really hard to break a line well with that few players. 
um, which means they're probably going to have to be, you know, you probably can pressure them to score, give you enough turns to drive back. And with the attrition just mounting up and mounting up, you hope even if they get the ball in overtime, they've perhaps only got three or four elves on the pitch. It, it is a strategy I've seen work. I've, I've tried to enact it myself. But of course, if it fails, if they just pull back and let, let you walk in and you know stay out of range for the entire of the first half, mm -hmm. then they might be looking at you know nine, ten elves, paid perhaps for a, a one-turner attempt, and then for the second half, they're they're strong in numbers. Indeed, yeah. And of course, in my game versus uh, Kfog, he actually has two of my dwarves on my drive anyway. So. <laughs> Well, I mean, I've, that, actually, I've actually got a question for Skurametsu um, before Purple Chess continues. Do you feel as unqualified as me um, regarding Blood Bowl strategy when Purple Chest is in the booth? No, not at all, because I have the conf confidence of a commentator who doesn't give a shit what people think of him. <laughs> and if I say things in this tone of voice, you know they're golden, baby. <laughs> Calcium, you can also do uh, do what he tends to do, which is just anything I say, write it down and then repeat it later in a confident voice. Oh, I'm waiting for Skurametso to shoehorn his SFL win as well. That's so happening. I've got oh, a, no, I've got believe a, me, believe me. Got, believe me that second half of the riding on that. <laughs> Look, so once, we're, once we're killing time to get to that one turn in the second oh, half, that, 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 that's all coming out then. you got to time that right there. Too and, soon, uh, man. Too soon. Yeah. yeah. But no, as the commentary expertise, look, uh, I've uh, I've um, nurtured a bit of a mystique about me now that if I ever say something really stupid, I can just blame it on being high, and, uh, and I'm good to go. <laughs> oh, look at this! Pass. And this is the disadvantage of receiving <laughs> first, right? And and trying to get this attrition, as uh, as we alluded to, right? It does mean that because you're trying to force the blocks, a good player like PC will you giving him blocks back, and there you go, he's rolled yeah, some absolutely. dice. Or indeed, like Kofo. But, um, um, do I say PC? Yeah, yeah. Get you two. Honestly, you're infatuated with PC. Get a room, I'm a, boys. I'm a, get a room. I'm a, I'm a sexy man, but <laughs> it's, it's, it's getting old now. Um, the, I mean, the disadvantage with Chaos, of course, is you do have those, those strength, those AV8 pieces, which you know, are, are chippable, but uh, Kofo is hitting without Mighty Blow, so Quetzalcoatl's got to feel a little unlucky to have lost one already. If you've got AV9, if you're orcs or dwarves, or, or you know, possibly even Nurgle with the foul appearance helping as well, then uh, then this strategy of, of receiving, as you said, Jim, can work a lot better. But yeah, if suddenly you do start losing pieces and then not losing them at the rate you want, then it gets very difficult to create the fail states you're looking for. What he'd love to be doing here is having a safe cage and also basing up. Yeah. Particularly any of the loners, particularly anything that doesn't have dodge, trying to suck the re-rolls, trying to suck the hits from the people without block. Yeah, and, and as we're seeing, he is trying a little bit of basing whilst also yeah, trying to bait something into the cage and maybe kill that rowdy dancer. Uh, I think he might have given up on the basing here. Looks like he's just going to play no, it right, really yeah. safe, take his one hit. I thought he would uh, he would base that one with two to three pieces and then blitz somewhere else, but yeah, you're right, he is basing. I would, I would have agreed with that assessment, too. Yeah. No, they were there not only for the assist, of course, because uh, it was three dice with the two assists, but also to keep that claw pommer safe when he went to ground. <laughs> oh, dear. Imagine being that dumb. Oh, no, I can't believe I did that. <laughs> <laughs> and it's trying to say PTK, but you just say PC, isn't it? That's the thing. It's really you... hard. Like, yeah. it's really hard. If you say KFOG, Especially... you're all right, but it's, it's when you try to say PTK, it just <laughs> goes wrong. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've said PCK a lot, too. <laughs> yeah, that one, yeah. That one might slip by every now and then, but... I, I take it as a huge compliment to be associated with PTK, frankly. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, we cannot prove that you're not the same person. We have no possible way of doing that, so... No. <laughs> Except we have played each other several times. Well, I mean, I own two computers. I could probably play with myself. Play myself. <laughs> <laughs> Implying you're not constantly playing with yourself, Scooter. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, one of those computers is set up in the bathroom, isn't it, Skuro, isn't that? <laughs> well, I mean, I have a tablet, yes. Getting back to the game, is this a little bit risky, putting these war dancers out to dry with a mighty blow tackle loitering? 
or not? Um, <laughs> yes, it is, but he did need to put something over that side. I, I think he's yeah, hoping yeah. with the tackle bomber that far away, it's going to go and just try and chip the, one of the two rookies. Yeah, he's, he's, just, I he's, he's, he's put the rookies in the way, hasn't he? I would have been really tempted to hit one of the war dancers there. Uh, i got to be honest, with Mighty Blow Tackle. Yeah, oh, me too. But if you've watched how Cotton has coached in the past, he, he likes to hit with his, his biggest, hittiest piece. And hence, it's we're seeing that blitz right now. Yeah, he'd have a double gear fight to blitz, to blitz the dancer. Well, yeah, the, the, um, the, wrestle, the Wrestle Mighty Blow Tackle Beastman could have done the hit and he still could have kept the cage. But, yeah. you know, um, it's just, it's, it's, it's really interesting how different people play different ways. You know, with a team like this, I would I would have certainly gone after key players like War Dancers as soon as humanly possible. Yes, mm. it's a it's the, the constant dichotomy between just wanting to get the numbers down, you know, less elves means more chance to hit those pieces later. Uh, but as you said, it's there's, there's three key pieces that need to go here, isn't there? There's the Natty, the two War Dancers, and beyond that, pff, who cares? And to be honest, beyond the dan be beyond the natty, who cares? You know, so like, yeah. I think I think reducing numbers is it becomes better in that regard. Like, if he didn't have the natty and he just had like two really good, like two, I don't know, like three really good players, then fair enough, going for the dancer. But I don't think the dan the rookie dancer is that relevant, and I don't even think the skill dancer is that relevant. Whereas the I mean, natty without... is just everything. So so going for that yeah, 3D absolutely. with Pom, I, I think that's the I game is like... about that player. I'm surprised he's this near the line. Uh, and not just sat in a corner somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Well, he can always get the ball. Because the problem with running him in something. behind the pack as an option to pass to, if you if you do break the ball free, is that you know, Quetzalcoatl will almost certainly then just uh, break something off to try and kill it. Yeah. At least he definitely should. I mean, I, I thought you did a good job of trying that, Jim. It just didn't work out. Thanks. Yeah, I tried. I tried. <laughs> this you push here is a bit rubbish. You ever ask it yourself. He doesn't get it. Again, going for the unprotected players. I mean, that is the thing with Chaos, isn't it? Their, their armor rate is starts unprotected, so you know, like you can, yep. you can. Off, they're often quite bashed on uh, low TV Chaos. Well, this isn't low TV Chaos anymore. It is very developed. He's still got those those players left over, hasn't he? Like the, he took guard first, didn't he? So this guard unprotected that's been cast. Ball carriers unprotected as well. So. Yep. Interesting. And as you, I mean, with the, with the, uh, we've we've got two uh, out already. You don't we? We've got a rookie beastman out, and we've got a guard beastman out. Yeah. So already the numbers are not looking that favourable for the uh, the chaos, who would really want to be up more numbers than this by now. They are they're one person ahead on the field, um, and they're they're facing at maximum eleven chaos, and that's if they get that uh, KO back. Skuro's a knobhead. <laughs> <laughs> And there goes that professionalism that you earned so much uh, so much credit with the chat. He is a not bad, that's, that's what you're here for, Calcium. Cheer us up. Oh, Calcium's the David here of uh, Blood Bowl. You made it two minutes, Old the Keep. You made it two oh. minutes. Do you remember that? Do you remember when he was fighting Klitschko? And they, they, they said, yeah. they, like, they interviewed Klitschko and Klitschko went, went on for ages about it, like his disrespectful and like unprofessional and all this. And then they, they went to him and they said, what's your problem with Klitschko? And he said, he's very clearly a dickhead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, some, guy, some guy looks like the, the, main, the main inducement here is just a babe. Uh, and yeah. I think the story of the inducement phase was more the uh, the cutting down to prevent uh, a wizard. I I missed a bit of that the start of that, so maybe Jim give a thirty second recap for those just joining in. Yeah, um, both sides. Well, mostly, K Fog was going to get a wizard, so Quetzalcoatl decided to prevent that. He had to cut really deep, so he cut both strength five warriors <laughs> with block and guard, and he cut a reroll. And then K-Fog cut his, like, niggled players um, to go down to 11. So it was a bit of back and forth amongst all that. But the main and, thing was... And his was, tree. He had, a, he had a nice tree. And a tree, yeah. He had a, he had a jump-up tree. But the, the main thing was Quetzalcoatl, like, had to cut super deep to, to prevent the wizard, and he did. Which I think is fine, really. Yeah, I do. I mean, just because, you know, we've already seen at least one Chaos removed and, you know, peaking at 11 now, it doesn't mean it wasn't still the right call. 
Unfortunately, in Blood Bowl, the right call doesn't always end up with the right results. That's possibly why we love the game and why other people hate it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, you look at, like, his, his ball carry is terrible, right? He's, he's, he's completely unprotected. And, you know, if you had a wizard, to, oh my god, that's why I'm going to a fight blitz. <laughs> that, uh, that pretty much ends the defense for k -Fog. Yeah. Does he get a hit on the, on the yeah. catcher now? I was just thinking that. I was thinking, is this catcher open? Um, he might be. There is a route through, yeah. Yeah, he is open. It needs a little, it's, it's needs a little bit of work to get it, but it can so be the done. The GFIs that k -Fog just filled. Or yeah. how about, uh, I, I, I might have even been tempted to take the dodge with then the claw palm tackle on the one turner, but that means you'd have had to deal with that blodge stepper, wouldn't it? So yeah. if you really <laughs> wants to, this is only a single dodge away. He can get his claw palm yeah. up with tackle onto that one turn. Yeah, double GFI, isn't it? Double GFI. He's got to take that hit. He's got to take that hit. You have yeah. to. Yeah, all day. All day. Protect the Go ball and you have to Absolutely. do it. Mm. Yep, stabilize the cage somewhere else, and that one goes to kill the one turner. Yeah, very exciting. Now, that's why I wouldn't have piled on there, is I would have wanted that piece stabilizing my cage at the same time. <laughs> yes, I would I would have also not piled on, but, you know. Not taking this hit right now would be like kicking a field goal when you're on the four. <laughs> on the road in the NFL Fourth playoffs. and goal. <laughs> Down by eight points. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> against Tom Brady. Mm. Yeah, this is this is how the game gets won. Um, did he just did he just follow up? He did, yeah. It's okay though. He can move the warrior first. Yeah, he moves the warrior, and they're still at the same. Oh, uh, sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, he followed up, and which I didn't hate, but I hated the piling on. But yeah. then I, you know, Quetzalcoatl has piled on many times, which I wouldn't have done. This is not. A <laughs> yeah, he loves to pile on. <laughs> he really does. Pile on or no balls, basically. Yep. Yeah, pile on all men's all the time, no matter if it completely destroys your position and creates an easy opening or not. Because, you know, if you've got pile on, you pile on. Yeah, he is going for it for sure, the way he's built that cage. Yep. And this is the game right here. This has to get re-rolled if it doesn't remove. Yeah. Gotta re-roll it. You just gotta re-roll it. No has reason to re not to re-roll that. There it is. Here we go. Okay, folks, ass is clenched. I said I was, I was surprised that that catcher was anywhere near the line. Ooh. I think it could have been Nothing on the spots. first hit. Piling on, though. God, he really pauses to do the pile on, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> like anyone in the world has any <laughs> doubt that he's just piling that on. Looking familiar, Jim. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Now PC just abandons defense. Not really have much left, but <laughs> five five players off the field. Is he building up for a foul? Oh, I didn't say PC, did I? Oh, for fuck's sake! If not, why isn't he just running away? Because he wants to defend from the foul, foul, doesn't he? he? That's he the must, thing. This must be a foul. Nah, he's just defending from the, from the... He's defending the foul on the catcher, I think. Okay, because... Okay, yes, that's fine. With the other piece down, the Chaos can't get around him to the point where he's... Uh, I mean, I'd, I'd probably just stabilise the cage and then try the 4-plus for another claw palm on, uh, on one of those elves. Yep. And of course, you know, the piling on with the few number of L's wasn't as terrible. But, yeah, but it was still terrible. I don't know about terrible. I wouldn't have done it. That doesn't make it terrible. <laughs> like at the end of the day, no, if he if he I mean, expects who can say what's right or wrong. Yeah, if he if he expects yeah. Kfog to react like this, then it was a good pile on, wasn't it? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the elves all ran away, didn't even try and, and hit the ball, which wasn't that surprising. Mm -hmm. um, and he's got to be, I mean, despite having that lovely hit on the one turner, he's got to be looking at the fact that there's only one elf dead. The other four are knocked out. And uh, with Kor, as we said, having the only inducement he could afford legally was a babe. So uh, you've got to imagine that quite a few of those elves are going to be back for the second half, and that's if they're not back for the one turner attempt. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, two. Now, the only pushes. reason that's important with the Natty, of course, is the Natty does need to get fed. You still need to get the ball and get it to him. Yeah. 
and, th and this is the show sure hands is a good way of getting it to him, right? So the piling on that show sure hands yep. does reduce the uh, yeah, one yep. turn chance. I wonder if we're going to see a rowdy foul on him. Mm. Just get your feet, Jim. Well, oh, Certainly yeah, there is the nothing in range of the ball, so there's, that's the only piece that, oh, now that uh, Dancer having been blitzed uh, has sidestepped into range where it can at least base the ball, and if yeah. you've read Reddit you'll know that basing the ball means effectively winning the game. <laughs> yeah, that is basically game over at that point, but here comes the dirty player foul on the sure hand. It is, it is. At that point, Cord Cord could not. Only a KO. Does he get sent off? Look a dog. Yeah, surf the beastman. Protect the catcher. These KOs are going to mount up even with one babe, aren't they? So that's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, you've got to assume. I mean, average dice would say that four of them are back for the second half out of five still. Yeah. yeah. I haven't done any maths on that. I'm just guessing. <laughs> Literally just made that up. <laughs> Yeah, basing, tagging, marking, all of those all of those terms are just for standing there to somebody and base to base contact indeed is where basing comes from. Um, yeah. But yeah, just stand yeah. next to them. I mean in, we should start using marked, shouldn't we? Because of course in the new rule set yes. everything is marked. Yes, that that is one one of the good things about uh about the new rule set is they actually they actually do clearly define that as be, as marking, don't they? So yeah, yeah, that is a good. We should we should call it marked all the time. Oh, the one D pal! Oh, cheeky! Dirty Dino! Oh, Foxamania! I mean, I I suppose he's got two re rolls. He could have thrown one in on that if needed. He could have done, yeah. At which point, of course, effectively, it's a two die. That's not terrible. No. Well. <laughs> oh, FD, Dirty Dino. <laughs> we should try to get the coach's names right first, yes. <laughs> <laughs> You've screwed it up more than me. Oh, dear. Now, enough time has passed, Kelsey, and I think I can remark that your comment about Skuro, whilst it made everyone laugh, none of us told you you were wrong. So, uh, that's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. I'm not afraid of your booze. I know most of you aren't ghosts. Imagine the frustration. It's only one nice of how quick a half of Blood Bowl goes when there's only one player on the pitch that anyone gives a toss about. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's, as I did say at the start, this could be brief for a final this. PTK no one's be really expecting to go in time. His, uh, He'll be pretty happy about having his babe right about now. Let's see how it goes for him. Yeah. Absolutely. As fully expected, uh, of those five knockdowns, five wasn't it in the end? Yeah, five. Five out uh, three have come back, back, which is not bad. Uh, which is about uh, right. Does he have enough tackle to spread across the pitch? I would, no, he doesn't. No, <laughs> that no, would have been his close. one saving grade. Not even close to being able to do that. So he has a grand total of three tackles. Yep. But I mean, but even, if he had, even if he from had anywhere, go just about anywhere. Yeah, even if he had four, he'd still be able to go around the outside, wouldn't he? Or through the middle, whatever. So like, at least he's got eleven players, so that it's, there's a three plus dodge in there. At it's least like he's he got might be gun. wanting, might be wanting to help. Uh... Uh, K fogged with uh, with his one turn by not spreading these beastmen out either, make it real easy. Yeah, that's crazy, isn't he? He's got to change that. Yes, because whilst it is a natural one turn, of course, if you can remove any of those go for it's, that does help. Yeah. It yep. does have sprint, but of course, having those two move up uh, and, and a sidestep and the agility up and block um, for some reason, I guess. It was quite early in its development. The first that means it doesn't now. have sure feet. Yeah. So each of those go for it is a two plus needing a reroll, so a naked two plus as we often call it, without an inbuilt reroll in the skill set. 
And that's a horrible LOS, isn't it? Absolutely diabolical LOS. <laughs> <laughs> so bad, it froze my review. Yeah, and we are absolutely seeing him trying to take advantage of this to uh, to gain that extra skit step, which would be uh, just reduce one of those rolls for him. Uh, and actually, depending on how many he wants to leave back to feed the one turner, two is very, very easy to achieve too. Yep. Yeah, with uh, with what's it called? Sidestep, incredibly easy to get Side two pushes. Step. Yeah. <laughs> incredibly yeah, it doesn't look like he's going to go for just two, have a brain two steps here. Or something yep. here. Two at least. Um, this is this is really bad, isn't it? It's this is a terrible yes. setup. Yeah, like, did no he did he think the warrior with guard was going to be sufficient that he put the the rookie beastman <laughs> back back on his back line there? It's, no, it's really he, weird. He's just not very good at blood <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I you know he, he's I mean I, I hear he's a chalice winner and I don't know who he is. It's an alter count, um, but I've seen him coach in the semi final and the quarter finals, and there's been a lot of moves that I didn't think were at the sort of level that would lead to this kind of performance um, but he's got here and that means he's deserved to because blood bowl but i wish i could say this was a huge surprise to me because i think as we all in the country booth think this is an error it's a setup at the very least you separate them and make getting I mean, those pushes a little harder yeah. It's definitely an error. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna condemn his life based on it. But uh, this is very possible. Just uh, the result of maybe, maybe not playing that 10,000 games of Blood Bowl that a lot of the coaches in CCL end up playing, and just never facing down the true threat of a one turner like that, and maybe underselling. Like this is just a, a mistake. You know, this is just a straight up mistake. Um, that. And it's still going to come down to a bunch of two pluses, so who knows? I mean, but... he may be a lovely human, a part of Medicine Sans Frontier or something, but yes, this Blood Bowl wise, that's not the ideal choice. And he's in. <laughs> mm. Oh, <That was> surprising. <laughs> yeah. And another little guy. Uh, kick dies doesn't even need the kick, doesn't even need a throw. Mm. Click Elf, click end zone. 1 1 at the end of the first half. Yep. <laughs> Ooh. All right, so oh, it's the long about, uh, come back. about filling the next eight turns of Blood Bowl with a bunch of bullshit because there's no point in talking about the game. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, this is this is the game now, isn't it? Yeah, that's true. That is. This is the game. The, the, As the I predicted, not enough attrition from the chaos. Um, only one of the chaos stays out, which from five of the babies is probably about right. About what you'd hope and expect is that you get all but one back. I, I will be right back. I so we're two elves down, first. meaning nine elves. The chaos to get their KO KOs, back, so they're full of chaos. rowdy. You said four KOs. I did. God, what, what is it, it like? To lucky, be, what is it like to it be right guess. all the time? <laughs> <laughs> it's just a lucky guess, Calcium. I, you know. God, you're so perfect. If you Stop talk as so much perfect. as I do, you're going to be right often. <laughs> <laughs> and as I've always said, I. I I talk, talk a much better game of Blood Bowl than I play. I bet your farts smell of cinnamon or something. Do you know what I mean? It's just not on. Having met, having met K-Fog, his farts do smell of cinnamon, so maybe. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Yeah, inducements are a babe for K-Fog, and Quetzalcoatl has the fame of one. And now they've both got a bribe, actually, thanks to the kickoff results. So there, there are inducements, and that could be that could be kind of interesting, couldn't it? With that, that you know, if uh, if yes. Quetzal Total goes ham on the fouls, or if PTK. Yeah, gets I mean, a I was a bit one. surprised. I was a bit surprised. Yeah, I was a bit surprised not to see PC put some fouls in um, when did the ball pummels on the ground. Did I say PC I say, again? Does seem to be protecting him. No, I did deliberately. I wanted to be part of the gang. Phew. Phew. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that was 100% deliberate just because I had <laughs> um, I think what we're setting up for here is as I sladly did predict and the council's not going to like that um, I think we're going to see a 
a withdrawn offence is the uh, a withdrawn offence is the term I prefer to use. Daka daka daka. It's funny that daka is like in forty k is just the most moronic thing in forty k, and yet it's like the most, you know, like it's yeah. And then in here, it's just like the opposite of daka, really, isn't it? This would be what a what you'd expect from a. I don't know, Eldar. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, um, if you know your forty k, and I do ever so slightly, I think that's true. You know, actually, a Dacker would be just throwing everything up in their face and going, "Ha ha, we will kill you." Yeah, all men's LOS. <laughs> pile on every time, Dacker, Dacker, yeah, Dacker. Yeah, with the kick, we are instantly we're seeing all the elves just bugger off. Yeah. I just like the fact this has got a different name now, this tactic, because uh, recently Jim, well, not so long ago, Jim did it in Rebel and it was called Bullshit. I did it last season in Rebel and it was called Bullshit. And Frankenstein copped the band for doing it back in Bumble days, didn't he? But now, you know, it's got a name all by itself and it's perfectly acceptable. <laughs> yeah, it's good, isn't it? <laughs> Frankenstein copped a band for running all of his men into the corner and not even picking up the ball or attempting to defend or attempting to attack. Yeah, I know. It, I, yeah. I know. I was um, being a bit facetious. It did have some yeah. similarities, yeah, but yeah, yeah. without the ball or any attempt to score at all. Yeah, and he was this literally a valid tactic, isn't it? You have, know, it's it aiming, can be very but... useful at a time like this. Yeah. Uh, if, you're, if you're behind, it, it, it has a lot less use. I will still go to my grave saying that if you're a decent coach, you should be able to use your men and out-position the opposition. Uh, and get past them and, and what I call reversing the field where your team and the ball is between the touchdown line you want to score and the opposition who are all then behind you and chasing backwards. <laughs> but of course this withdrawn offence is a way of, of getting people, sucking them in and then trying to create that gap. Chaos aren't falling for it, they're coming forward in good order, trying to stay wide across the pitch but keeping some people ready to respond if you know, all the elves will go to one side at some point. That's uh, the key advantage is being able to outman and outmanoeuvre. Yeah, and so what you're basically back. saying I heard here is a good coach doesn't do this. So yeah. a good coach, what you're basically saying is a good coach don't do this. So you're basically calling K Fog a shithead right now. <laughs> no, 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 no. But um, yeah, no, no, basically no, no, no. it's it's an anal yeah. strategy that 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 is predicated upon sucking your opponent in, then beating them off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> um, I have Get no problem right with it then. when uh, we're seeing K Fog do. He, he will instantly. You know, start probing for space, trying to create some holes, trying to pull this sh shape out. It's when, no matter what they do in advancing, you just pull back and back and back. Um, I'm glad Skurametso's back, because it's starting yeah. to get really weird in here. Oh, man, I, I'm back, and I, 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 yep, I'm, I'm erect in my chair and ready to go, guys. Excited. Just thinking about tries, tries, not, try small package at Royal Rumble, no doubt. Yeah, tries, tries effective small package, winning <laughs> matches, left, right, and center. Yep. Look at that, an unprotected player to go for. Rather than try and pull them even further up the field, you know, cause instantly probing, looking for holes on one side, hoping that the chaos sweep across, at which point he'll reverse and go to the other side of the field and try and form a hole there. Yeah, yeah sure. Hands in case of, in case, I mean, guard as well, right? Like, it's. You yeah. should have really. I mean, one of the problems I have with it, Calcium, is not that it can't be effective, particularly on high speed, high agility teams. You know, rats and, and wood elves particularly use it to great effect. Uh, and particularly against slower teams. But it's that, I mean, like the uh, the offset line of scrimmage and the suggestion of five in order to limit one blitz on one turn, or rule of five, as some people call it, it's that it's done by so many people that don't understand what they're doing with it, why they're doing it, its limits and its benefits. They do it just because it's cool and popular. Yeah. And that's never been something that's particularly impressed me in any part of life. Mm. I'm, I'm so going to stop doing it now. <laughs> sorry. No, no, that, that doesn't mean it can't I'm be sorry. effective. I'm sorry, Dad. It absolutely can be effective. But just know its limits. Know, know what you're doing and why and what you're trying to achieve with it. Don't just do it because you've seen other people do it. Do you know what I mean? I uh, I don't really know what we were talking about because I wasn't paying attention, but I, I'm not really The withdrawn offense. Sex, so. Sometimes known as <laughs> oh, Okay. Well, I actually think 80% of Team Fantastic is just getting a bollocking right now, actually. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> yes, Ali. That's a, that's a fair assessment. Of <laughs> Equity. Probably Moradam. Always oh, failed the thing. Does he yeah, roll one? Did he's, I mean he's got the bribe, so he doesn't roll one. There's mostly butt stuff we were talking about, Moradam. It's not really your purview. <laughs> we'll let you know when we get around front again. Um, I, what do we think of that foul? Because I didn't like it much. Uh, He's still mm. risking, assuming that the the bri bribe works. It, it's still a one in six that it does it alone. I can't believe I'm going to say this now, but that foul was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't like the foul. Yeah, Fallon a journeyman as well. I think that's yeah. Yeah, I think that's frustration at the lack of attrition so far. This actually tilts. Do you know what? It's really difficult foul. to play against this type of strategy, isn't it? You know, especially when you're not doing the attrition you require as a bash coach, as a bash team. Yeah. It's so frustrating. So frustrating to play against. I mean, I mean, what what advice I would give against it is throw your tackle pieces up, create those either opportunities for them to roll dice against you that leave them in place to get hit back or to dodge off tackle and try and pull the rerolls that way but try and maintain a good strong line across perhaps keep a sweeper piece back if you've got something that's nice and fast and has tackle and try and drop one of them back with the other two tackle up in his face uh, anything that doesn't have dodge put something strong up next to it like a chaos warrior again looking for it either to hit back or to dodge off and fail yeah. Okay, there that's a very that PC done, way of saying frustrating. make your opponent roll dice. Yeah. 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 Exactly. But that's but that's about where I'd be at in a game like not this. Roll dice. Yeah, I mean, that's where I'd be at in a game like this. You, you, as Chaos, you kind of have to assume if you didn't get lucky uh, against the one-turner in the first half and then he scored his one-turn, didn't roll bad dice, you, you've lost the game. So now you've got to hope that you're going to get very lucky in the second half and the way you get very lucky is creating opportunities for your opponent to fail dice. And if he doesn't, he doesn't. You're going to lose anyway. But if he does, maybe you have yeah. a, an opening somehow. Yeah. yeah, I think that's that's probably true. I mean, there's still nine elves on the pitch, and that's loads. That's yeah. at least eight too many. <laughs> yep. But putting putting everything in to just take down a, a loner just to try and get numbers down, like, I mean, does does... Does uh, does PTK really care about having nine elves versus seven elves? Pro probably not with that one player that's currently holding the ball. Yeah. But, well, yeah, but, you still know. the MVP for the Chaos team is the grass, isn't it? That's, uh, <laughs> yeah. that's got to be threatening if you're Chaos. Yeah, but you're still like eroding the position, aren't you, by removing players? So, like, yeah. it's it's not bad at all to do the foul. It's just, uh, it's just like, you know, it's kind of like a high rolly type foul, isn't it? You know, if, if there's the potential that he just casts that guy and he's still got his... He's still got his bribe and he can do that every turn and he can just slaughter his team and then if he slaughters his team maybe he gets a hit on the on the catcher so i, d I don't hate it. it's not what i'd do but it's definitely not wrong <laughs> it, it wasn't what i would do it, it, yeah but as skuro said and as you've backed up absolutely jim there, there is a strategy behind that that isn't just about bang on cements it's about if I, I i need to to get lucky here i need to start changing how this story's unfolding and that starts by there being less elves yeah. <laughs> and as I said in the first half, if you can take the, the, the scrubs out, obviously it gives you access to the better pieces, and those are the ones you really want to be hitting. Yeah. I mean, like, there's, a, there's a war dancer available here to get smashed. It's not the better war dancer, but that's probably the one I'd be looking to target myself. Yeah. He's, I think he is going for the three dices, though. Yeah. Oh. Which is, which is okay as long as it's not costing you, like as long as you're not putting them in bad squares to get the three dice, it's fine, sure. isn't it? Like obviously you want to be making three dice if you can without a nope, positional cost. he's not going for that one. Okay, Armor that's, bloody that's seven, right piece seriously. It's a lie. Yeah, <laughs> isn't it? It it's is. a lie. The only thing I don't like about that is not moving the strength four beastman back central first. I don't yeah. quite know what it's doing out there. Not I think much. it's in the wrong place, so... I think you do need a couple of pieces over that side, not because of, alone, pile because of the speed of the elves. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he can't overcommit. If he overcommits, he's tossed. Yep. Well, I think I think he might be overcommitting a little bit. Well, maybe not. 
No, this is fine. As long as, the, yeah, the strength yeah. four should probably move up into a better position and then the other one should, yeah, reinforce that flank a little bit. Absolutely. Oh, that might be a little far forward. But, okay. Oh, yeah, I think he fouls for sure. It's a bit it's a bit like uh, it's a bit like Ducky, isn't it? You know, I, I remember a, a, probably a Chalice game with Ducky versus Skaven. And like the Skaven team had a few good players, like you know, three or four good players, and I would personally would have kept my fouls for the three or four good players. Whereas Ducky just started turn one fouling linemen, you know, unskilled linos, and that led to a massive uh, s snowball, which which you know he just won really easily because he he removed so many players. And it's so it's the, the both strats are valid for sure. Yeah, absolutely, and it's it's one. Of, I mean, there are areas in Blood Bowl where you know I might love one thing, someone else might love another. And if someone did the math on it, perhaps one's three percent more effective. But you know, then you look at the fail state and what happens if it does and doesn't work. And there's so many complicating factors that it's very hard to say for certain. Yeah, a lot of a lot of these things do come down to style choices and things. And as I said right at the start, if he can just get the scrubs removed no matter how, it gives him access to the better pieces that then still have to stand in the way of protecting that Natty. Yeah, this was, I think this was a good turn from uh, Quetzalcoatl. That looks a pretty tight formation, doesn't it? I, I, like, I like it, I like the shape. Yeah, well, there we go, great minds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, there is there is a route out, there always is with bloody elves, isn't there? Yeah. Uh, but it, it would require some leaping, and of course the Natty doesn't have it. The Natty does have his AG5, which can also just go where the hell it wants. Yeah, I can see KFOG putting most of his team over here, and then next turn it might be a bit hard for uh, Quetzalcoatl to get back, to be fair. Yeah, absolutely. Everything runs over to the other corner, doesn't it? Yeah. And hopes the to... Old, the old certainly switch leave the, uh, Ooh. Ooh. Quads there would have yeah, been that, devastating. That's... Yep. Much more importantly than that is can he... Somehow, uh, oh no, there isn't a tackle on the war dancer, is there? So that's still a one in thirty-six. Yeah, and he's got two free players, so he can make it basically safe, can't he, without dice rolls? Yeah, yeah, ab absolutely. But now the strength four, you know, it's so important the square that that was in, uh, and I think the rookie's going to just have to stand up on him. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, he's got to sacrifice his life marking that character. <laughs> And he might not even die, right? He's only 75% to knock him over, and then if he piles on, he's, he, it reduces his movement for the next turn, so... It's not that bad to stand next to him. I'd love to believe that he wouldn't pile on, but he will. <laughs> yeah, he totally will. <laughs> yeah, a third half, but you don't get your rerolls back, Sea Shark. Now... There is some rowdy roots for a ball here. Yeah, yeah I was just looking at, at that too. Oh, no, talking that... about the, yeah. um... no, I was going to go in the back door. Well, of course that you were. For Jim. Yeah, I was looking at go. I was looking at plunging right in that front there, but uh, no hesitation, no foreplay, just go right in. <laughs> but uh, that that catcher coming by kind of blocked off what I was thinking. Yeah. Yeah, but no, that's a five plus in, isn't it, around the back? Yeah, from this wrestle yeah. wrestle tackle. Yeah, putting a putting a, a reroll onto that makes it about fifty percent to get there. All you've got to do is cancel one tackle zone when you hit. Of course, the recovery is awful, but really, what you're looking for is just to get dice on that natural one turn and get the ball on the ground anywhere, and then just hope good things happen because of it. PC, he didn't pile on. I, I'm amazed. And Two turns God in a row. bless me. It turns out that old dogs can learn new tricks. <laughs> oh, or, or Locken, honestly. Coming soon, starring PC Sid James. Uh, carry on blood bowling. Seriously, it's just crazy, isn't it? <laughs> carry on blood bowling. Oh, brilliant. Matron. <laughs> Hello, Flicky Flack. Um, you've missed a natural one turn from <laughs> KFOG. Uh, Which none exactly of us discussed because none of us found that interesting. Yeah. 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 It happened. literally we missed didn't talk exactly about what it. we would have predicted. <laughs> In fact, I think I stifled a yawn. <laughs> I don't even bother stifling them. Do you think he's gone for the hit? I think he is. Yeah. I should think. I think he is. Yeah. Why would you cancel the uh, the war dancer if you weren't? Yep. He's gone. Plus dropping the. Uh, no, he's not. Dropping no, he's the not. tackle he's claw on the back. No, he's not. Does get the war dancer really down though. 
That would have been a dodge in and a pow, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah it sure <laughs> yeah. would have. It sure would have. Because dice work like that. Yep. Um, <laughs> yep. What I particularly loved there was dropping the Beastman back central first. Yes. Don't love this though. I didn't think that needed to be go for it. Just in front of the dancer was fine. Yep. Oh, he got... Oof. I guess he kind of did have to re-roll that, though. <laughs> oh, he had to re-roll it once he made the roll, but I don't yeah. think he had to go there. Yeah, I no. don't think that square's any better to me. Yeah. He's got to put a player... Oh, I guess he's plus strength, isn't he, that Claw Pommer? So. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the Claw Pommer can probably hold that ground on his own, except yeah. there is a, you know, the Dauntless Dancer. Yeah. I mean, I don't hate the idea of a one die on that just to move it and then potato down this flank. Yeah. However, we are now getting to the point where there's... You know, I mean, there's, with, with one elf stunned, a few others on the ground, perhaps they haven't got a great deal of movement left in them. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? Is he going to GFI to foul that dancer? Double GFI. And then it puts him over the wrong side as well, doesn't it? That's a bit of a horrible foul. I don't think he'll do that. What if he does, I think that there's space <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. I think he just did, Jim. <laughs> How rowdy is that? How rowdy is that? I mean, the upside of it is... Ooh, Apple Power it's Apple removed comes out. It's good Dancer. Apple. Except that, yeah, good Apple there. So yeah, now the upside of it is it's also closed the route to the strength four for the dauntless um, dancer. But it's opened it up this half, hasn't it? It has opened up this half. It, it really has. I mean, I think yep. we now swap back to the other side, don't we? And that yeah. leaves at least a couple of beastmen, possibly four, completely yeah. out of the game next turn. Yeah, four in the hey, wide. He's put his nuts on the table here, and he's put his nuts on the table. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and that foul, again, makes that GFI even worse as well, doesn't it, right? Because he doesn't really need that guy. Like, if he was going to leave that guy exposed over there, but then the fact that he backed him up with the rookie beastman and the guard beastman, he really didn't need that. Like, that all the way oh, oh, dear. Oof, speaking of a GFI, I wouldn't necessarily have done. Oof. Yeah. Yeah. Not sure why marking that gives us that not marking it didn't, but I'm not as good a... Wood Elf player as core. Cool. Let's let's call on a Wood Elf player. Calcium, what was that for? <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. Crap, GFI. <laughs> well, cool, it's cool. it's so that the it's so the tackle pom can't tackle pom one of the good players, isn't it? Super risky, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah super yeah, risky. It was, it was early in the turn. Although maybe you know, maybe he misclicked and just felt he had to at that point. No, no, it's fair enough because if he doesn't tag him, that then uh, then the tackle pommer Tackle Poms, the Roger or the Dancer or this catcher, you know, and he doesn't want to tackle Pom, does he? So. Yeah. You know, he still needs to get something around the backside because he's left his bum open, exposed. <laughs> and there it is. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good recovery on it. Yeah. Which I, I'm not sure is surprising anybody. Uh, considering there's only five elves active, they're in pretty much the right squares. And it does, as you say, stop that tackle Pommer. Um, from coming around the front and hitting the, the good dancer. There's still the midfield beast, but if that advances into that cage, then you know the agility five will just dodge away and run. Yeah. Possibly even run and punt. Yeah. And as we said, there's four beastmen around that fouled war dancer that are now really marginalised. Um, I would personally be dropping probably most or all of them back into the midfield area at this point. Yeah. It's a little scary though because you got those three elves on the ground that you cannot leave unattended either. Yeah. No, but they can get marked with rookies, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, there is also, again, a, a rowdy chance of a five plus here if you really want to go for it. Why, why is he, why is he oh, blitzing that player when he had a claw pom hit for nothing? I think because he wants the claw pom around the front, stopping the advance down the uh, flight yeah but... I, I, I yeah i guess no i hate that i hate you can't you can't no, three dice like blitz him when yeah i guess it frees up the tackle to get the tackle back relevant i guess that's the idea yeah yeah okay okay i guess that's the idea so you can get the tackle and you back. didn't need tackle on him because of course he was a, a naked elf yeah yeah okay 
Okay, so his Lay other off. tackle has dropped back midfield together with the claw palm tackle. I like that position. As I said, some rookies standing in front of these downed uh, redundant elves. The war dance needs a little more attention than that, but not much. I'm still going to be surprised if we don't see some sort of push down this flank from Cora, if there's any space to do it. Yep. Another very cheeky early get GFI there. Mm -hmm. Fail there would have lost the game. And if you're putting that tackle beast there, why not do that before the GFI? Yep. And that guy. <laughs> I, I don't know if I like this. Both tackle both tackle pieces over one side of the pitch. Don't know if I love this. Uh, he has have got you got missed the, the midfield, midfield one on the LOS, Kels? Yeah. Sorry. I, oh, yeah, he's got the sweeper in the mid uh, and the LOS, I guess, yeah. Oh, this looks pretty good, though. Yeah. It's, it's it not does. bad. Do you have Okay, for is running out of time here, but he has yep. got the dancer over that side, hasn't he? And, and a couple yeah. of guys with him. I mean, there's a there's a uh, there's a way I hate, but it's possible. You put the uh, put the assist on the uh, the rookie beast. You hit it with your dancer. The dancer leaps over and runs away, and then the AG5 just dodges through, saying, "Ha ha, I'm AG5." Yeah, oh, I don't know. <laughs> That'd be rowdy. Goes, it's rowdy as hell, but I'm not. No, he's pulling back instead. Yeah, blitzing that guy off. That's the conservative thing to do, isn't it? And then hook up with that other dancer. Are we at the point where Core's starting to think about perhaps I just roll the dice for overtime and see if I can just one turn it? Yeah, look, it's looking that way, isn't it? I, that, I thought this was too too passive, really. I mean, uh, there's a. I mean, the other dancer can try and get forwards as a scoring option, but other than that. The Natty now has to go full tilt for two turns to get into any kind of position, doesn't it? Yeah. Double That's still a here. long, long way from safe. Yeah. Because there's still a 3 plus 2 plus needed from the rookie elf to close the back door fully. Three, four, or else that uh, the rookie beast that's up by the touchdown line. I know it hasn't got tackle or block, but it's still only one go for it from two dice, which it now can do. However, perhaps he wants to blitz this. Uh, as Calcium said, the, the two tacklers committed means but with the uh, with the journeyman tagging the midfield tackler that war dancer is now a big active threat for a pass yeah. do you just gfi um for a 2d with skillless hit on this catcher yes i do yeah i think i do too because even if you just push it um you can then put everything else up in its face drop another tackler back in case the war dancer jumps out and it's still a very tough position for the elves to get any any out any anywhere safe next turn. Mm. Although AG5 can just do stupid things. He sure can. K Fox left it properly late here, but this he is really one of his has. strengths, isn't it? He's he's been really patient here, I and mean, he's actually in a good spot right now, isn't he? I wouldn't say good. <laughs> well, yeah. Okay. I, I mean, it's actually given us a fascinating end to the game, hasn't it? Yeah, Which yeah, is yeah. is wonderful. I think our fear was that in this half, you know, Core managed yeah. to work a very easy opening and reverse the fear and get down and be stalling on the other touchdown line. Yeah, I think I think this has been a good half for Quetzal Court, to be honest. Yeah. Like, it's, it's really, I know firsthand how hard it is to defend against this bloody Wood Elf team. And I, I didn't necessarily love everything he's done, but it, most of it has added up and worked out incredibly well. Yeah. Now, he's left those two beastmen. I wouldn't be surprised if we see the two die coming in now from that rookie beastman. Because the way he's uh, he's based up those other two elves and the way he's left a jumping screen so that if the uh, war dancer jumps out... No, he's moved it. Scratch that idea. <laughs> but now he's got the tackler back in case that... Yeah. In case that does. Yeah. Looking for a six oh, here. double pal. Gets, Gets it. it. Could kill this, uh, this catcher in a... Uh... In a uh, satisfying moment for now all. 
Ooh, he's Where would you get that here? I hope he's going straight crowd. forwards. No, he's going forwards and to the line. Interesting. Perhaps he's hoping for a bounce out and a throw down the field. Yeah. But there's still a couple of beastmen yet to move, which... Oof. No armour break, of course. Now, I would be blocking the square right in front of that ball, because at the moment the AG5 just stands up, picks it up and runs, surely. Yeah, yeah he's got to. He's got to stop that. And then if it gets through, the dancer leaps out and comes after it. With the other dancer do dodging off first into a scoring position, of course. Hole for this uh, this last beastman to block is that one right in front of the ball. Yeah, for sure. Just putting two tackle zones on it is so much stronger than where it is right now. And well, it not not just the, the tackle zones, it's that's stopping and running point. straight through as well, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. And he does find that square. I think that's the right place to be. Yep. Yeah, we're all getting rewarded for sitting through the first half of inevitability with a little bit of drama here. And hand off to this guy who could then pass to him, maybe. Hand off to the Lionel. You can't <laughs> hand off to the Dancer because it's in three tackle zones. You can't run down that flank because it's now been closed. I really hated the follow-up from the Strength 4 um, Clawpon Beastman because now it allows that dodge wrestler to get through on a 2 plus. Mm. Yeah, that's a good point. Of course, he had to get that. You know, I guess you've got to retrieve the ball as well, haven't you? You've got a lot to do here, but yeah. Looks like he's just going to uh, settle for the. Yeah, you know, I, I think he's absolutely going to settle for getting it in overtime and nattying it again. Yeah. That's the case. This elf. What an honourable way to win the chalice. That would be. Where it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> he's gone in there. Oh. What's it? That's an interesting place for it to be. Yeah. Oh, it's because they, they, these are twos, aren't they, then? Ah, uh, yes. All the honor we talk about in Blood Bowl all the time. <laughs> yeah. So you just run all the way through, I guess. That was weird going in there, wasn't it? And I... I, don't, I don't understand that move. I'm, we'll have to ask Core why, because he definitely chose that. It wasn't a... Oh, doesn't make the three plus pick up. Yeah, it was he is going for the win. Yeah. He is. He's going to just pass off to the war dancer. <laughs> a three plus catch here. Edge wow. five, everyone. Probably a three plus pass as well, isn't it? Yes. yes. Got the, the intercept. <laughs> <laughs> Number oh, 12. six on the interception roll. <laughs> Famous number <laughs> of the greatest of all time, the GOAT, if you will, and the GOAT getting the pick here could have just won Quetzalcoatl. This game, this finals of CCL 36. Surely with this few elves in decent positions, oh, all he's dear. got to do is stabilize that ball in range. Oh, dear. I think my play was much better if you're going to do that because then there wouldn't be no intercept on it, would there? <laughs> <laughs> wow. It is a rookie beast man. He's got the blitz for him, hasn't he? He's got the guy to blitz to free him and then get some people back. Oh, he, the the just, sad just thing just is, he can't just. Because it's on a naked beast man, he's worried about the dancers yep. um, leaping in. And, and rightly so, that's probably the only thing that stops him right now. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's tragic that he can't hand off and score because then Kerfuck will just one turn. So, like, if it was a team without a natural one turn, maybe you blitz the one turn, all right? And if you cas him, just go for no, then you can't because you've, you've got to blitz the guy marking him. Got to blitz the guy marking You can't risk a one in nine. No, yeah, I just didn't see him there when I said that. I was like, wait, maybe you could, maybe you could do that, then go for the handoff, and if you cas him, but no, you can't. You've just got to, you've got to blitz him. Again, he can't take the push here because of sidestep on the dancers. I don't think he can even hit the other dancer. No, maybe not. Oof, that saves him a bad pylon. 
<laughs> oh no, he hasn't got that one. Oh, no, no, <laughs> 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 not so you can free this guard, I can't you, with a block. Put him somewhere. Good day, Cocky. Hey, Cag. Again, he's put the tackle on the AG5. Just because otherwise, that's another option to just come in and, and red dice the ball. Mm -hmm. So if he runs the beastman down to one square before the end zone, he can only be based, can't he? Um, so, uh, on the the strength two catcher can get to him, but yeah. he can only he can only then be based by anything else. Yeah, the AG five would just two die him, red die him. Yeah, but it does look like that's what he's going to do. I think you'd take that at this point, wouldn't you? Because um, he's got no ball recovery. Mm. Yep. That looks to be the plan, rather than uh, caging it up and letting the dancers try and come in. Yeah, it is a, it is a free roll indeed. Oh! oh. <laughs> Fails the GFI! He, he He's got two rerolls. Uh, for two turns, so, he, you know, that's not the biggest problem unless it's one in 36 is, which it doesn't. But it does mean nothing else can go for it safely. Not that he should worry about that. You can still go for it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's not safe. You can still run around and do something. Yeah. If you need to go for it to be safe, you still do it. If you're in a decent square without it, you perhaps don't. He's got to block off this catcher because this catcher can base as well. Yeah, blood stepper. Can yeah, base the ball. The, the, blood the, dan the dancer can get in base, but it's to go for it. The uh, the natty can hit. So the only question for me is, do you base with the one with the dancer on two go for it's and then go for a one die with the natural, and then try and retrieve and hide in the corner? Good question. I don't know what's better. Because if you assume that the you can sidestep upwards towards where the dancer is, you might be able to stop a pick up. I. I think I would probably prefer to get the dancer there and go for a one die. But I'm not the Wood Elf player that Core is. Mm. I don't know what you're talking about there, some guy. This this dancer has got a dodge on three plus with dodge. Oh, <laughs> oh, it's not with dodge, so he had a three plus and two GFI, so the catch should. Yeah, double, he left, of course, GFI because he was, was uh, he was in a tackle zone. Yeah. Yeah, so he is going for one die, as I suggested, with yeah. the dancer in exactly the right square. That if he can retrieve this ball, he can probably. Uh, He's got him! He's got him! Oh. Yeah, the scatter here. Now he doesn't have a chance to win it now, but over time. No rerolls either for Kefo. Oh, that's a I don't great think he even him. bothers trying to pick up there. I think he stays oh, exactly where he not. is. Oh, he I did go for the pickup. I don't agree with that at all. Yeah, I hate that pickup. Hate it. How? How is Quetzalcoatl getting that ball if there's two guys stood in front of it there? There's just no way. Well, you could have blitzed him. He blitzes well, the natty and then hopes to dodge off the But that's the position I originally outlined, is what I would be looking for. And if he now hits the natty, of course the natty side steps to walk upwards up the line towards the dancer. And hopes that the scatter goes either to the dancer or just behind the dancer and isn't then retrievable. Yeah, I mean, picking up that ball, it's still a pretty great spot for KFO all things considered. But and of course, really like yeah, this turn, suddenly all the elves have done all the moves you want them to do. <laughs> yep. This is some recovery, isn't it? This is some recovery. Oh, lovely. Wow. Absolutely beautiful. Wow. There's, there's just no way is KFO not. isn't winning the coin toss either. <laughs> like, there's just no way he's not. Just try and kill the one turn. <laughs> However, he is now to rerolls. So the natural, as I said, there's yeah. no sure feet on that natural. Yeah. So yeah. even if he gets the, the toss, there's no guarantee we see him try the one turn. He no, might I think try he doesn't try without a reroll. No, Two or three turns is just as just as reasonable though. Yeah. I yeah. think that's what we'll see is him trying to out position the uh, the chaos and make it happen that way rather than using the natty. Though it's still gonna be eleven chaos on the field. Yep. 
almost bezel, but I mean nothing really compares. What do you do here? Do you take the do you, do you mark the war dancer for the free for the free die dodge with the yeah. claw pommer, or yeah. do you take the two die with the wrestle? I mean, you mark you mark the war dancer, I suppose yeah. anyway, but. Yeah, you've got to hit with the strength four because then you're hitting at strength five, so it's three die. And then you're hoping to recover uh, with the guard yeah. piece, aren't you? Yeah. yeah, and the wrestler's got Agi two as well, which I missed, so ignore that. Yeah, yeah, the, the wrestler's <laughs> crap. Plus three yeah. dice if you get, if you pom him, then <laughs> it's just good, isn't it? It's good if you can catch him. He's got the three D. Does he use his last reroll or does he accept? I, think you I mean, really, what you're hoping for here is the ball bounces out and can be retrieved by something other than the AG2 guard piece. Yeah. Maybe he just accepts all the time. Yeah. Keep that one reroll dry, just in case. See, so if he, if he hadn't picked up the ball, right? If he hadn't picked up the ball, I guess he sidesteps into the end zone, doesn't he? And then you've got a, yeah. then you've got a dodge on a five plus, pick it up on a five plus, dodge on a five plus, dodge on a four plus. No, but you, you, you sidestep onto the side so that you've got to. And he would have sidestepped to where he is now if, if he hadn't picked up the ball. Yeah. And so he'd so have been a five plus dodge, five plus pick up, five plus dodge, four plus dodge. But that's still better than nothing, <laughs> which is what he's got now if he doesn't knock him over. So. He risked a naked yeah, two plus to pick fair. it up, which I, you know, I, it's fine that he did, but it would have been fine if he hadn't too. Both were strong positions. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't As think I it said, was just this definitely was my original wrong. outlined position was that catcher in the corner with the dancer where it was. So I didn't hate it. That's what I called to do. All right, here we go. Will we have a game at all? Coin flip. I mean, I guess we kind of have a game regardless, but coin flip in. Oh, the ball was in the end zone. The elves Ooh. have won it. Okay, the ball was in the end zone. Yeah. Oh, so then it would have just been a three plus, three plus. Oh, you had to pick it up then. Yeah, you had to pick it up. So you sidestep onto the line so that you still got to dodge in through that catcher, making it a four plus, four plus. Oh, yes, yeah, so you stand next to him, yeah, and then go there, so four, four, yeah. Yeah, okay, so it'd be a four, four. But it does mean a power would have made it a three, three. Yeah. So he probably was right to pick up. Yeah, I think he probably was, yeah. Right. Now, only one elf came back despite the babes, so we are at eight elves versus eleven chaos. That's not so bad for the chaos. And the elves have no reroll until the kickoff result. Yeah. And yeah, Skrull called it. It was always going to go. It was the kickoff was always going to go to okay, Kfog. Um, and of course, the uh, the fame is in the chaos's hands. So even a kickoff result that gives a reroll is slightly more likely to give it to the chaos. Yeah, they both got a reroll from the kickoff table at the start of the second half. So. Yeah, I mean, it, it's not impossible, obviously, to win one when it's only plus one fame. Yeah, but what I mean so, is, K Fog still run out of rerolls even with an extra one, hasn't he? So, yeah. Unbelievable. So, yeah, he's just going to defend properly because he can't think about the one turn. Because if. I don't, yeah. I don't think the one turn is a huge option here, is it? Without a reroll. Is, uh, although, if he defends this, this far up, then I mean, a, a the short feet fail isn't the end of the world, is it? Yeah. <laughs> if he does choose, I mean, I would have them just a couple of spaces back, or at least drop someone back to sweep up if the one turn is tried and failed. I think this holding is really this shallow, isn't it? Is, yeah, this is. I think this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, the the beast men can get back with go for it if one of those go for it's failed, but the warriors can't really. Right. Hey, he's, he's perfectly set up for his uh, kickoff blitz here, guys. On a, his short kick, <laughs> yeah. short kick blitz. Well, I think this is absolutely inviting the one turner without rerolls, which maybe isn't a bad plan. Certainly, I think I would have the one turner on the line and be looking at it. Well, having predicted there was no way this is going to overtime, I am thrilled to be wrong. What a game it's given us. A game that didn't promise much, just delivered huge amounts in the second half. See, that's how you do commentary score. <laughs> oh, boy. Shots fired. Shots fired. <laughs> oh, boy. Sorry, was someone talking to me? I was letting my dogs out. <laughs> the classic Bostonian defence. <laughs> Just take his dick right off of him when he thinks he's got one up on me. Uh, okay, 
what you think of Was oh, that your dogs or me? <laughs> Paul. I thought it was Jimmy that was no, the furry in this game. Again, he's the, yeah, he's left him that uh, that push for the sidestep that reduces yeah. the amount of. Um, yeah. ah. I don't of hate the one turn in. I don't hate covered. it. Yeah. yeah, because you I mean, get that because with the forward setup square. with the ability to get the free square, I, I think it's the right way to go. Yeah, if we see a deep kick, easy. we may see him, you know, retreat. Yeah. But if the ball is at all just hand offable to that catcher, I think he'll use the sidestep and I think he'll go for the one zone. <laughs> oh dear, classic Dimmy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to be fair, weighing is probably as I was just going for it. He's going to have to roll some dice, isn't he? A team point to me, just get him out of the way. Oh, and there was cheering fans and it did go to the chaos. And it was because of the one fame. <laughs> Chipped out it his reroll. It doesn't get tiring being right. Oh, no, it wasn't. It wasn't because of the fame. It was, it was three two anyway. <laughs> and again, it's not just one step he can get here. It's two if, if the first one's a push. He should have passed now, I think. Probably. Yeah, no, 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 two no, no, tackle zones. No, you should have. Yeah, should have. I mean, if this is a pound, now it's into no tackle zone, so that's... I, yeah, I don't hate him doing it. No, he should have, he should have done, because look look how far away he is. One, two, three, oh, yeah, four, no, five, six, right. seven, eight. This is a three-plus pass now, or has it been a two-plus? No, 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 it's still a two-plus, isn't it? No. That's a three-plus pass now. Three-plus pass. So it is. So he should have, he should have done the pass first, and then it would have been a three plus catch with catch. Makes the extra two plus look a dog. <laughs> Makes the catch. Clicks elf, clicks end zone. Yep. He's got a dodge to do and two unprotected go for it. But as I said, if they fail. Shoreboarding. K Fog, he does it. Uh, this is proper toxicity right here. <laughs> and there we go. The first man, as uh, Skuro widely said, to win both the Fumble Major and the Chalice Final. <laughs> We're going to say, I do uh, in depth analysis. Congratulations, PTK. Commiserations, Kevin uh, Kodal. I'm sorry, I shouldn't say congratulations, PTK. Congratulations on your one-player PTK. <laughs> Commiserations, Ketsukotl. Uh, I think we just had someone hop in the booth. I'm going to assume it is K-Folk himself. Hello, hello. Welcome to uh, the upper echelon of Blood Bowl, the winner of a CCL final <laughs> and a fumble major. Let's hear from the man himself. K-Folk, how you doing? How you feeling about that? That was oh, fucking nightmare. Not? <laughs> <laughs> That's absolutely a nightmare. Every time I thought about something, something failed. Every time I thought if he just fails this, there's a highway to run through. It all worked. <laughs> uh, to be fair, he probably yeah. thought of the same about the one turn. Well, yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. But it's not like I have many options. <laughs> but yeah, congrats, K Fog. Big up K, what? big up K Fog. <laughs> Fucking hell, that was terrible. Oh well. <laughs> oh, I bet you can't wait for all the Blood Bowl groupies now. <laughs> the fame and the fortune. Oh boy. This reminds me of the world better, class. Uh, PTK, Back we spent most of the game talking about anal sex and not your team. <laughs> <laughs> but there's that. That's not much to talk about. Like. Me, me and Jimmy were talking Blood Bowl. I don't know what you heard, Skuro. Clearly that's, not that's... doing anal sex correctly. No, absolutely not. <laughs> but yeah, honestly, I thought Quest should... Court will play very well. I thought he yeah, was very, very difficult. It, it definitely sure. does. Um, and again, there was a couple of times where I thought about, like, he does the double tier 5 to do the foul. If that fails, or, the, or he gets sent out, that's a one dice into, into wrestle one dice to, to just run straight up the pitch there. Yeah, that, that was like that's what I said. Was that that hole through to the? I know it was a strength four beastman, but, but with the uh, dauntless, dauntless wrestler, yeah. I just need him down or to the side. It's a two plus two plus, and I need to dodge one to get one dice on the guard warrior. 
Yeah. And then that's one dice and the push on that. And then it's just two plus two plus and I just set motor wave for the rest to run through and out of range. Yeah. I have no clue uh, what that we, go for it into the foul mate. No, we did call that. Um, one thing that did interest me, I'm sure chat will have their own questions, so whilst they, uh, oh. they think and come up with any. Were you at any point when he uh, when he sacked that uh, that natty, did you consider just stalling up in the corner and hoping for the overtime anyway? Or were you always going to try that pass to the uh, the other um, if, if, I, I, I did think with, with the pass being 3 plus 3, with it being 3 plus 3 plus, I'm, I'm trying that. Okay. Because if that works, then I have to two plus to tag the wrestle, and then I win in normal time. I mm -hmm. think I think three plus three plus to win the game. I think I'm, I'm, I'm at that state. I was taking that every day of the week. Uh, Doctor Mama Bosco said, uh, "Is it true that your your farts smell of cinnamon?" <laughs> um, but it was uh, pretty uh, <laughs> ironic that they <laughs> they did blank wrestle, they blank gold. I couldn't knock down, then roll double house and on the catch afterwards. That was yeah. slightly hilarious. I was like, what the fuck? He was always coming in the back door, wasn't he? I mean, there was no way to close it when that final I was, thing. I, I was yeah. supposed to run over to the other side. Yeah. But then I didn't manage to get this anything. This reminds me of world class. class. Back in the um, 1980s. And there was no really good ankles to block for him, so I was pretty fucked if I didn't get a full plus and two dice. Yeah. And that, that was the feeling. That was the same. I had a couple of times where if I can do a 3 plus 2 plus with a line elf, it will help a lot. And all the time, they just decided to fail. <sighs> um, how does it feel? You are now the only person to hold a chalice and a fumble major. Uh, you're also, I think, still NAF ranked number one in the world, aren't you? And I guess I'm the only one that has a tabletop major on top of the other majors. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, just drop that in as well. Why not? I mean, I wasn't praising, I wasn't praising you enough, clearly. <laughs> No, I mean, I've, you. I've got it's a 200 just... meter clean badge. You don't hear me talk about it. <laughs> no, um, it's just you always acknowledge the tabletop. You never hear me acknowledging my two SFL wins either. Jeez, <laughs> never. Get it's it. never cropped up, Scott. Never. <laughs> so back to the question. How do, and how I do never feel? Are you, are you I never mentioned the fact with that I won Crendor League, the truest <laughs> test of Blood Bowl. <laughs> what next for a man who's conquered every mountain? Where do you go from here, Cor? He hasn't conquered every mountain. He's never but, won SFL. Well, I'm never getting invited. <laughs> you, you're not in. No, you're not invited, and you never will be. Fuck off. <laughs> Stay away from my team. <laughs> 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 Sorry, he hasn't won all CC five here. I'm going to look forward to play Blood Bowl 2020. <laughs> so there are, there are. I think what they're saying in chat is there are hills still to climb. Yeah. We want to play Blood Bowl 2020 because this is just stupid. <laughs> I'm the first one no. to say my one turn is absolutely stupid player. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And hey, Blood Bowl 2020 okay. has, or Season 2, as some people call it, um, only Games Workshop. I haven't heard anyone else use that. So Blood Bowl 2020 is, is limiting one turners, isn't it? They are going to be a bit less common. Surely. I, I will put in, put in, I actually did a chain push in both of them. This reminds me of world True. class. Just yes, we did remark upon that. Um, <laughs> because I don't have sure feed. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, and also because he just completely decided to let you. Yeah, but that was, uh, I was if he gives me three on skill, I'm definitely going to hit that. And twice. My push this, twice. Um, yeah. At least he, he did set up a bit deeper than, like, He's a little bit faster. The vampire did set up twice where I could run past him out of range without actually having to go for it. That was more hilarious. <laughs> I think that was. I think that was the only. I think that was the only thing that um, your it opponent well. really did badly, wasn't it? Yeah, Insofar as the setups were the setups to defend against the one turn. All right, you can't defend against it, but just made it significantly easier. And that was yeah. that was the only bad thing he did. Other than that, his his play was really solid. You know. Yeah, the only thing I the really. Yeah, if you look both sides for both away from the double go for it after we rolled into a foul, I couldn't have left the pads open. I think that was the only thing I'd really spotted that I really didn't like he did. Yeah. If he'd set up with crazy at that point. If it's set up uh, for the overtime, if it's set up with uh, three slightly more split on the line of scrimmage and a line across, you know, three deep with five mm. or six people, and then a sweeper back, would you still have gone for the one turn without 
a reroll? Um, maybe not. I was thinking even if I fail, if I don't break armor on myself, I'll probably it's fine next turn anyways going. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's what I was thinking. Was that he, I know he didn't set up particularly deep, but he set up just far enough forwards that the sure feet fails weren't going to be a problem, were they? Yeah, that was the only problem. Yeah, that was the only annoying part with <laughs> only getting one push in was I couldn't run a player down first at that point. Mm -hmm. I really wanted the one of the, the wardens into the middle, yeah, but we... my castle was in the way by going for the pushes. We've got so a maybe couple of still, that, that first push did, you know, did make it a little easier. Did reduce those three naked twos to two naked yeah, twos. Yeah, and if it's been pushes, I could have made a push more. We've, we've got two questions for your PC. First of all, how do you feel about becoming CCL champion? Go um, fuck yourself. Um, and, I haven't yet. And second of all, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And second of all, uh, can PTK school. dominate Battle Brothers? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really good at it. I, I, I find it entertaining, but I'm not studying. I, my problem about Brothers is not spend the 400 hours the Jimmy has on it. <laughs> Glorious. Uh, oh yeah, that's a good question. Uh, dog to the dog on the intercept. No, play. you didn't look at that. No, I was. I must admit, I was. Yeah, I should have looked at other options when I burned the reroll on the pickup. Mm. <laughs> but that's a two plus as well. But failure status may be better. Um, the original plan was to make a go for it. Yeah. And, and Bezel, that doesn't need answering. He's as flattered as I am, of course. <laughs> to be fair, that is what fucking Fun Glutton said. I just didn't fucking realise because I'm an idiot. <laughs> but I didn't. I didn't misspeak. I was just literally it. So no, you read out the question. Yes. Yeah, I just read out. I did read out the question. <laughs> it's just that that was taking the piss out of me, and I was too stupid to realise. <laughs> Like, fuck off, Dimmy. <laughs> on, on that bombshell. <laughs> but it's a good example of why I don't actually normally, why I don't particularly like going back with. Yeah. Um, this is a really good example. <laughs> I mean, I thought you yeah, played no. it really well, and, and obviously, yeah, yeah the I dice panned out and everything, but I, I did think he handled it very well. There was a lot yeah, of shit. Yeah, me too. Sort of That's thought. why I this problem going back with. If it fails, it's even worse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, I know you're no lover of the withdrawn offense, but it, you know, sometimes it does make sense. I thought it made sense there. He pressured it really, really well. A couple of decisions I wouldn't have made, as you said, the two go for it sort of foul. I thought was when he didn't get sent off, it did secure the the strength four really piece. I would have, just, I would have secured that. Yeah, but it was good because it worked. Um, but it, there was a piling on or two I thought were a little bit questionable, but, you, but when we re-examined it, you know, because you were always going to withdraw rather than go for the ball, yeah. it, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was. So no, I thought Quetzal played played really solid throughout. A couple of questions about his setups that allowed the one yeah. turn to be a tiny I, bit I, easier, but totally only a agree. tiny bit. There yeah. was a couple of times while I was while I was screaming in the screen to make him pile on, <laughs> like yeah. he did in last round. <laughs> I, I think there was a couple of couple of ones that there was one I particularly said he'll definitely your assertion. Uh, and he didn't, and he didn't. Yeah. so that's that you know, that was good mm. that's uh, that's good yeah I'm, I'm impressed as well I've seen people uh, mess that way up he, he managed to always keep somebody over the top of the my best ways to go forward yeah um yeah, us again, a little bit. Uh, yeah. I think, yeah, if that, it's still annoying, of course, the gold nut. I think I could have gotten up to about middle feet, middle of my pits if I could have got around the back at that point. Yeah. And when I, having the sidestep ball dance out in that side as well, I think it could have been good. But yeah. yeah. I particularly liked, I thought the best square he found all game was when, uh, when he put the guard piece right in front of the ball after having yeah, down the catcher. That. Yeah, if you do have otherwise the pick that, up and just run down that that flank was definitely odd, wasn't it? Then, uh, then, then the one dies and, and, and just try to the hit on uh, to push the tackle away and just run. It was definitely on. <laughs> yeah. Or even just ignore that one and just run anyway with past the tackle as well. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I mean, either way, it gets the ball, the natty, and at least one dancer down that flank, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, which is very hard to stop, and even if you stop, somewhat easy to recover afterwards. Uh, but some great coaching from both sides. You know, the first half didn't promise that good a game. 
No, and it's second good. Half, absolutely delivered in spades. No, and uh, everything, and the, the few things where Forda could put some pressure on got completely destroyed by the snare guys in self removal on the dancer. <laughs> and anyway, <laughs> that, if we that got, kind we... of the, that just destroyed everything. Uh, <laughs> We've got but to wrap it, it up, fun. I'm afraid, because uh, as as good as this is, but uh, thank you very much, yeah. Gorilla Metso, and uh, thank you very much, Calcium, thank you very much, Purple Chess, that's PC, and thank you very much, Primetime KFOG, um, or Past Tense KFOG, um, <laughs> and obviously, <laughs> congr congratulations, well done, uh, Core, you're amazing, and um, even though not that game, that was just a disgusting one turner. <laughs> but in general, <laughs> a great guy, a great, a great champ, great blood ball player. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Every oh, fuck off, school. <laughs> thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. <laughs>